But speaking of Yoshi, we got him on screen right now. Fuzzy Pixel's very own Tap Soda. A green lizard fight, if some would say. A green lizard fight, if some would say ourselves. You know, one's a little more scaly than the others, but that wasn't almost always the case. Did you know that Yoshi was originally supposed to be a Koopa? Really? I, I could see it, because he has like, the, the shell thing that kind of got retroactively turned into exactly. a sa saddle. The saddle on his back was originally a shell, and they just thought like they wanted to differentiate him. All right. I have no idea what that was about. Uh, yeah. Oh, looking like we're rocking the red Yoshi this time instead. Yeah, Tab Soda. I feel like this is another one of those matchups where, like, in theory, Yoshi should kind of dominate. You know, because Yoshi's punish game is ridiculous, and a lot of characters already, even if they don't have ridiculous punish games, have a ridiculous punish game on K. Rule because of how big he is. So if Yoshi's in, he should spell a pretty good time right now if he's disciplined enough to get around the hat of discipline. But uh, this is Krugwell we're talking about. So you yeah. gotta be careful. He's got the, the, the egg on him twice, this time getting a bigger conversion off of it, but not as big as we've seen earlier, especially not to a massive percent that he's at now. But oh, fell right into the suction. <laughs> That's one way to put it. What, what, what would you call it? <laughs> I don't know, the blunderbuss or like the vacuum. Uh, or... dude, that, that is what it's called. I don't, it just sounded funny in my head. You're good, don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got to be careful. He's going in a lot around the hat of discipline. You got to remember, K. Rule has a lot of armor throughout like that entire move. So if you're not careful, like you're just gonna get hit by the backswing of it on the way back. But there you go, keep him at disadvantage, just falling with that up air as well. Don't get me started on Yoshi's up air, man. That no, move is crazy. It, the way it juggles, kills, it does everything you want. Brain traps on top of that, you know, like in between air dodges as well, especially since Yoshi has the best air speed in the entire game. So he's really good at being able to catch it, especially with how big of a body K rule is at the end of the day. Like, Yoshi plays it op optimally. A lot of his options are can be safe on blocks and spaces them properly. And even if they're not, like I said, he can just drift away super duper easily. But K rule holds down a solid enough neutral, makes his options linear enough, and it can spell disaster at the end of the day. Good ground pound on the hard tap, so they're covering space with that option. Very smart. Almost carrying to kill it. On, on a lighter character, that probably would have would uh, sealed the deal, but uh, not in terms of K rule over here. He's got the hat of discipline. Oh, he's got the hat of di No, he dropped it. Never mind. Oh, he's not even going for the hat. I like that a lot, actually. He doesn't need it. That was smart. He actually just ran in because he expected him to just run back and grab the hat. He's like, you don't expect me to go in right now? All right, I'm going in. Just, just go right at him, you know? That was really smart, actually, by Krogo. Very smart play. Because even when you have like options to like just keep spaces like that, a solid approach can be like a, a big game changer for a lot of uh, cause you got ultimate players that don't like approaching, you know? It was just it was just good conditioning at the end of the day. That's all it was. It's just like uh, the optimal thing to do here is to get my hat. You expect me to do the optimal thing, I'm gonna mix you up by not doing that. Exactly. Alright, only 50% differential. That is nothing that Yoshi can't make up very easily, it, even in one move like down air. We, we almost saw it right there. It's definitely already backing it up as we're keeping him on the ledge too. Yeah. Oh, the hat of discipline didn't help him on the way back. Really good cross up on the part of Tap Soda though. He's going to get a lot of damage off of that. He does his first stock lead in the whole uh, game so far, so he's definitely going a bit harder than before. Uh, the heat of Yoshi Nair in the face and not having any hits done. Life dream. could be a dream. Life is both dream. That move's crazy. It hits from so far. It's, so, it's insane how much more of a hitbox in the back it does than from the front. I know, and the fact that even that back hitbox still like launches directly above you at the end of the day, this character is nuts. I don't know why they gave Yoshi all of our combos, but they did, and they're going to help Tab Soda take game at number one in winner semifinals here up against Krugbo. Yeah, a big forward air, though. I, I was actually ex expecting a weird like little like spike hitbox there, but hit it the exact way the Send him right to the left instead. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's just like one giant hitbox all the way through. It, um, I'm trying to think. Like Yoshi's up tilt? I don't think it's like, it's not multiple hitboxes, right? Isn't it just one giant, one hitbox that just sends right above him? For, um, what, the... Actually, you know what? For, for Actually, you know what? Why am I asking you? I'm going to pretend that I know more about this game than I do and totally not open up ultimate frame data on my phone. Totally not do that. Totally not scroll all the way to the bottom. There's definitely so got to be Yoshi. two different, uh, two different sets for the. Uh, you know what? I was actually gonna say that looking at the frame, frame data now. Um, yeah, look at this. You see that? You see the way it starts in front of him? Yeah. Wait, hold up. It, 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 it like throws. No. No, I, I was talking about the. Yeah, the, see the back hit's different. It actually covers a little bit more space on the back hit. Yeah, I was talking about the the, the forward air though. The way he, like, the way he killed oh. it at the end with like the way he sent him all the way off stage with the forward air. Because um, uh, I I don't know why the way I saw it, I think it was gonna it was actually gonna spike him instead, but mm. 
ended up getting the kill instead. It's it kind of has a little bit of that Falcon down air status where like even like like oh no I got the weak hit of down air I was trying to spike him and then the weak hit of down air just kills. Like yeah. it still does for Falcon. It, it, it Yoshi's forward air is kind of the same thing, basically, except on a character with much better air speed. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, looking at the frame data and stuff, would you argue that Yoshi has the strongest tail in Ultimate? Because the only contender you really has is Ridley. Yeah, there's Ridley or Mewtwo. But, how, how, but I don't think their tails are strong. How, 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 how many back air kills do you see from uh, those from Mewtwo compared to Yoshi? <laughs> Definitely more with Yoshi. I mean, he's a way more common character at the end of the day, so... Yeah. You're probably right. I mean, it's probably Yoshi. I'm just trying to think of other characters that even hit with their tails to begin with, you know what I mean? But uh, even if I can't think of them, it's still probably Yoshi at the end of the day. This character's pretty nuts. Oh, boy. Oh, that was Ooh, really one good trip oh, and... too, but it doesn't matter because we're eating full Italian dinners out here. He had that, too. He had the drift away perfect, but he just wound up dying. Yeah. He's got so mixed up by the counter, I forgot to, how to recover it. Thank God that Krogbo had full shield right there as well, not getting uh, not getting the ground pound. Putting himself into a really big uh, advantage at this point. That, 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 that one stock off was like, incredible for him. No, but I was saying before about the, the tail stuff, because I feel like all his tail moves are just like massive hitboxes that give him so much like percent off of it, too. Yeah, no, you're probably right. He probably has the strongest tail. I can't even lie. Just the fact that he's got like like Olimar combos is enough for Yoshi to be considered the good character that he is. You know, like he gets like white one up tilt or one up tilt, and it just leaves damn near six feet. Not able to grab the ledge though because he was in the air a little bit too long and used the up beat before already, so he didn't get as much height with it. To yeah, very, grab the ledge. very weird blunderbuss interaction with uh, the cannibal as well. Yeah, it, it looks like it was about to uh, reconnect, but then it never ended. Up. That down air, that down B does end up carrying a kill though. Really good situational awareness by Krogbo. Hanging back with the, uh, oh, oh! God, I was going to say hanging back to get the Blunderbuss uh, Cannonball instead because he knows that Yoshi was going to be fishing for back air. The only person fishing for back air was him, and he's going to get his off the stage instead. We're going even in the set. There we go. Look at this, Barls. Look at this. We're, we're, we're getting a lot of game threes tonight. And, you know, I love to see it. It's yeah. always great to see uh, a lot of really good players. He, he bodied him, Frog. I don't know what you want me, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. He, he, he just he bodied him. That's why I was fast. It, it, it's hard for me to talk down to a, a, Stevens, a fellow Stevens player, but... Uh, I'm not talking down to anybody. I'm just explaining what happened. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the hard part, too, you know? I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to soften the blow there, but uh, get hit hard pretty down when it comes to k roll back air. Mm. I'm too bitter. No, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not softening the blows. I, I, I'm, I'm too bitter about this game. I, I, I'm none, of these, none of these guys are... Like, no, these guys are bitter, too, because they both want to win. They both want to stay in winners, and whoever loses is definitely going to be a little bit bitter. Just a tad. Just don't let it consume you like it did me in my old age. They, they both can end up out of this game like, man, I hate that wizard so much. <laughs> Compared to the Smash Populous Frog, come on. <laughs> anyway, we're in game number three, Pokemon Stadium. Why do you feel like Yoshi decided to go here? Do you feel like Yoshi might just want more room than like, not get overwhelmed by like hey, projectiles, maybe? Or the Battlefield was not, did not do here. No, yeah, I, I think, like I said, um, game one was on PS2 also, right? Game one was on PS2, I think, and then game two we were on Battlefield. And yeah, Battlefield is where Krogbo kind of went ham. Exactly. So I think um, the increased space just and also this like past win probably shows the tap is just more comfortable over here, giving a lot more like ways to work around uh, yeah. Krogbo's many projectiles. And even off of a win, like you know, we're not going to see Krogbo ban the stage. The egg kill. Stage. What what a creative uh, way to bring him down to the bottom of the stage there. Yeah, Yoshi's got the recovery at the end of the day as well. You know, like, it's a, it was a pretty smart option that Tab Soda hasn't done throughout the set yet, so he saved it for the end when he needed it most. Resource management is very important when it comes to a platform fighter as well, my friend. You just have so many options, you don't want to waste all of them too quickly because then your opponent will get keen to it. Already matching up percentage for many, many different uh, versions of it. I love how Krogbo parried the ground pound, but it didn't matter because it has another good box after the fact. Yep. It's just like, it's another annoying thing you know, about Yoshi, you know, is that like parrying the way it's designed in this game is that it's supposed to be able to just like eat like up close CQC hitboxes, but then when they have lingering stuff like that, there's just not much you can do at the end of the day, especially with the shield stun that the first hit of the ground pound does. So it's just a very difficult move to parry to begin with. The struggle is not looking poised because of it, but the cannonball is going to do it. Now, yeah, I guess you mean over there because like 
even when you get the the, the parry off that move, there's just too much going on with it. Like the, it seems it's one of those things where it's like the best uh, scenario is don't get hit, but this game's never that easy. No. Spit him out, try to go for the Pharaoh and the egg to the forward air. What I'm doing, double jab, pushing him away in between the jab hits too to make sure he can get him close to the blast. He saw off. what happened to him on Battlefield there and said, nah, I'm not letting myself fall for that counter again. No, definitely not. I mean, his landing became way too linear on that stage. And K. Rool was just able to juggle with a breakfast, lunch, and dinner on that stage. Now with no top platform, it's way easier for Yoshi to be able to get down as well as just keep the damage just steadily on this stage. Yep, rising neutral air. You're up a stock yeah. as well. 69% for the magic number as well. That is an absolute clean W. What a part of Tab Soda. Just another casual tab, tab Soda dub, I can say. Just another Tab dub. Keep that tab on that soda. Now, I see Ziggert over there. Could we be getting tab. Kazuya on stream? Probably. I, I, I don't know about y'all in chat. I am a, personally a fan of watching uh, Mr. Kazuya, Mr. Mishima, do his work. Yeah, there's a reason that I haven't entered um, an Ultimate Tournament in, like, three years. It's because these characters exist. You know what I mean? Because I've, I've played, you know, uh, i played Ziggler a lot of the Padrino Fest, and that character is a literal and metaphorical demon. Mm. So, uh, not exactly the he's, funnest he's, thing to do. It's in his genes, you know. 